Uh, I am Marion. I am 25 and I'm from France. Uh, I liked uh, the architecture and the fact that uh, everything is uh, white, so it's really bright. Mm -hmm. And I also like the feeling that um, people live here and there is a kind of energy of, uh, I don't know, like a, it's like there is a life here and we can see it, but um, and a kind of community. Like uh, I used to live in um, a place with a lot of uh, buildings, uh, similar buildings, and there were a big lack. And there are also this um, like common space, a bit like here. Uh, maybe some um, like kind of workshop, but for um, bricolage, uh, craft. There is. Yeah. There is. Where uh, everyone can share. So Rita Maxine, 63 years. Gosto aqui do centro convívio, do parque. Venho aqui muita vez no verão apanhar sol. Da associação. Oh, ali ao café, a sede e tudo da Cruz da Picada. Os passos verdes para a gente. Como reformada, falarmos, conviver. Alessandro Cavoli, and I am the director, artistic director of uh, Teatro Rigodon. Teatro Rigodon is a little group that uh, lives and uh, acts in the center of Italy and uh, in international project. Uh, we are uh, actors, uh, musicians and dancers inside the company and uh, we work since uh, uh, 2006. It means that uh, this year we, we are in the 15th years of activity. Uh, yes, um, as we arrived, uh, I had the feeling, the perception of being in a metaphysical space uh, where the white leads and the, um, the lines of the architecture. Um, the space is so huge and white, and, and I can say that uh, it reminds me um, some architecture of the suit of Italy, as white as uh, with these long lines and, and the sky, the blue sky, the, light, the white line inserted in the blue sky. And I can say that uh, the neighborhood of Matera are more or less uh, built and um, imaged as this kind of space. So what, what I can say is that uh, um, this is an ideal architecture. Um, 
it seems not, not, not related to people that lives inside. Um, but also this kind of line uh, you have in the Greece architecture in the temple, for example. Long lines, um, no, in, in this way, in this way. Um, it, I can say, it means most a theater than uh, a public space to live. It's, it seems a theatrical space. As architecture, as um, the absence of life inside. I like it very much. I like to, to do picture um, uh, and to work in this kind of spaces in a theatrical way. I don't know if I can live inside mm. this kind of space. It could be inspired from some painting of um, the painter Hopper or um, the Kiriko. They painted this kind of spaces and the presence and absence of the inhabitant. Um, I, I, I would say uh, that um, as shared um, presence between human and, for example, statue. I like to work in, in the field of architecture as to give them some uh, cute images um, and, and also through the heart uh, it's possible to renew our vision uh, of the space that we live uh, um, daily in, a, in our daily life some some trait of the heart could change the perception that we have of the space that where we live normally so I, I'd say poetry action um, theater Adora Eu gosto de viver aqui e vivo aqui há 16 anos. Porque as casas são boas. Só não gosto de certas situações, principalmente que se passam dentro do meu lote. Centro de dia, hostelaria, ir até à cidade, tomar meu café, com pessoas amigas. Com amigas. O que eu mudaria aqui no bairro era que as pessoas não fossem tão sujas, estar hoje para a rua e o que eu mudava aqui era montar, mandar fazer aqui um jardim em frente à creche. Bonjour, hello, I'm Bruno, I'm from France and I'm 52 years old. Um, uh, I've been lucky because I was not the first one to reply to this question and mm -hmm. listening to the answers, it helped me a lot. Uh, when, uh, when I was young, I always lived in, uh, in a collective uh, uh, buildings environment. And so I remember that as a kid, I could go outside and meet my friends every day after school or on weekends. And we were like in a safe place because it was not in the streets. It was really like in a, in a park or in a, a football space, etc. And so this is something I don't have anymore because I live in a house. And so my kids, for example, they never had it as, as, a, as a common space with their friends. It was only at school, finally. So I realized, thanks to this visit, the, uh, the benefit of uh, living in a collective environment uh, 
that creates this uh, yeah this safe uh, place for playing uh, as, a, as a kid so this is really connecting me a lot and um, and especially this space uh, where your office is with the, this kind of agora this uh, central uh, space this is a uh, this is uh, yeah, for me this is a uh, this really reminds me uh, this place in the center of many buildings where we were all gathering and playing every evening. So, so parents could possibly see us from their windows and tell us, come on, it's time for lunch, it's time for dinner, uh, directly, just screaming from the window that, okay, come back. That's, that's, that's a reminder. So what I really love is to organize parties and I have the feeling that this neighborhood is, is a great space for parties so uh, I would love to find people interested in organizing parties especially music um, concerts uh, so I would, I would ask in, in, the, in the neighborhood if there are musicians or groups or bands to do a concert and the party uh, with food and music and dance. I think I could, I could do this because it's the kind of, of a thing I, I'm, I'm pretty uh, good at. So I would bring parties. Is there already parties? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Leon. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Dortmund, Germany. Definitely uh, the playgrounds, they are very clean, very cool, because uh, in Dortmund, okay, where I live, uh, I don't have the experience that are so much there. Like, uh, we had one ball or something like a bag or something, and roll it at a football and then play with it, or something where we would be creative, doing uh, things that are like fun for us. And here, all this clean, uh, new things for the playgrounds and something that's uh, super cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's a very similar place like this in Dortmund. Um, it's called Westerville, and uh, there are all playgrounds, uh, flats like here, hashtagly. I hope that's right yeah. in English. And uh, when I was a child, I always go there to my aunt, and there are precious friends and bonds I uh, I do in, in this place, and it was so cool. And I feel like I'm right here in my childhood uh, neighborhood for my auntie, and uh, it's so cool. Uh, I would give my old stuff when I was a child here, um, like my football t-shirt so I have, or my old uh, games that I played, because um, all my games that I have received when I was a child was from this, that was the filler in Germany, ah. it's like here. And then it's like a tradition to give those, those toys or something, another child. And, uh, my cousin is already in that age, seven, eight years old, and he lives in Westerfelder, and I give him all my toys that I have. And that's like, uh, I would do this. Mm. Em princípio, gosto de tudo porque eu não tenho razão de queixar das pessoas. Nunca me fizeram mal. Nunca. Aí tive uma pastoria lá em cima. E tive alguns problemas, mas foram mínimos. Porque a gente não pode dar muita confiança a certas pessoas. Pode ser na pastelaria, 
como pode ser no grupo desportivo da Cruz da Picada, ou aqui no centro comunitário. Ah, normalmente há no verão, agora não. Mas normalmente no verão a gente vamos, juntamos três ou quatro ou mais, aqui e estamos ali um bocadinho ao fresco. Uhum. Mas quando está muito calor, as casas são muito quentes. Olha, se calhar o mudado era as pessoas serem mais limpas e não deitarão os na rua. A sujidade das linhas, portanto. Sim. Podiam mudar isso. Que a gente encontramos uh, sacos de lixo aí por toda a parte. E outra coisa, e, e os dejetos dos cães. Também podiam apanhá-los. Uh, hi, I am uh, Desiree and uh, I am Italian. I live uh, in Rieti and uh, I am 31 years old and uh, I am uh, an actress and uh, I work for I work on uh, Teatro Rigodon. I really like this uh, neighborhood. I like because it's a small neighborhood. I think that uh, in this place um, everyone um, um, everyone know each other yeah it's funny because um, Near my family's house, uh, there is a similar neighborhood, and uh, I uh, remember when uh, I was young uh, that I I um, I walk I walk it uh, in the. Uh, in the street on this neighborhood and uh, and uh, I remember mm -hmm. it, it's interesting uh, if uh, uh, the people uh, um, um, uh, offer Uh, your Sabine experience uh, um, for whole people lives in the neighborhood. Uh, um, manual activities, uh, okay. uh, paintings uh, together, okay. theater, uh, sing, uh, but all together. Eu sou a Ana, tenho 22 anos, moro em Guadalupe, que não, fica a 15 km daqui, é uma aldeia. E mais recentemente tenho andado neste bairro. Sim, uh, os espaços livres, tipo há parques por aí, há pequenas pracetas. Que, Muitas pracetas que eu, eu já conhecia este bairro, eu já vinha passando por aqui, mas só que não conhecia mesmo, mesmo muito bem o bairro e descobri ontem que havia muitas pracetas por dentro dos prédios. Não sei, talvez quer ficar mais próxima de... Do, do trabalho dos meus pais ou de qualquer coisa, de qualquer compromisso, hum, só por isso. Talvez mais um pouquinho de performance, já a conta de a quantidade de parcetas que aqui há, tipo espalhar um pouco aí. Trazer coisas novas. Sim, quando eu vinha visitar a minha avó paterna 
e que já não está na, cá mais. Eu às vezes passava por aqui, ou ia à farmácia, minha mãe tinha que ir à farmácia, ou outras coisas para a frente. Eu sou da França. I think the first thing that connected me to this neighborhood was the, uh, I don't know, the, the color. The color. Uh, I see uh, this yellow color everywhere. I see, uh, uh, I don't know, the tint of yellow and this yellow, uh, I don't know, remind me the sun and uh, all that things. And uh, the architecture. And uh, yes, I think. Uh, It's this yellow, this yellow color. Not all. I, I, I've been in Portugal, so uh, I know a little bit the, the environment and the, the architecture and everything, but this place doesn't remind me of any of, of the, the Portuguese place that, I, that I've seen. It can be, it can be like the in, in France we we name them the city, like city, yeah, yeah. city, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the, this place have, have like big big uh, big buildings, big buildings, big buildings, yes. big buildings with uh, I don't know a park or a lake or uh, anything. And, It seems a little bit artificial, but he, he has a, a lot of life, a lot of uh, of life and of uh, of uh, spirit. I, I, I say, I would say. It reminds me. Yes, it reminds me this. I don't know. Maybe a, a sport place. Right? Yeah, yeah. A sport place to. To have a lot of uh, yes, a football place. Uh, football place. Yeah, because football is reuniting, uh, uniting uh, people. I think. Mm. So Maria Antonia Frati. Tenho 73 anos. Sou casada. Tenho quatro filhos, seis netos <laughs> e três bisnetos. Sim, é termos aqui as comunidades todas. Temos a polícia, temos a farmácia, temos o retalho, temos portarias, supermercado. Não precisamos de ir à cidade para nos fornecermos, seja daquilo que for. Aqui no centro comunitário. Pois o centro é um um posto de convívio, para a gente conviver e estarmos aqui e a gente gosta. Sou Diletta, e, um, estudo Storia dell'Arte all'Università e sono un'attrice all'Aquila. avvertito un senso di, di verità, cioè come se non ci fossero filtri nel, nello spazio, come se non, non fosse contaminato da... non fosse contaminato. Qualcosa di... è uno spazio senza filtri e senza compromessi, ecco, diciamo. Sì, c'è stato un dettaglio dei, delle lenzuola stese, eh, non, non sui balconi, sui muri, e che mi ricorda un po' la mia infanzia perché diciamo, ho, vivo, ho vissuto in un posto simile, molto semplice, eh, dove vive gente molto umile, molto semplice e anche mia nonna e, e tut, tutte le altre anziane del posto avevano Mm. Eh, questa cosa di stendere eh, i teli ovunque, mh, oltre i balconi, anche per terra in realtà. 
e, e mi ha ricordato molto, cioè mi sono sentita un po' a casa, diciamo, <ride> eh, guardando quell'immagine. La poesia, sicuramente, che è una cosa che unisce tutti gli esseri umani, diciamo. E, e poi l'essere nel, 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 nel tempo, nella realtà, nel presente, ecco, diciamo dire che, che ci siamo, che siamo qui, non, non, non farli sentire lontani da, dalla realtà, eh, diciamo. Um, C'è uh, un antropologo italiano che chiama, la chiama proprio la crisi della presenza rispetto a queste, um, uh, a queste comunità subalterne, ecco. Che, che prendono svariate forme, possono essere contadini come eh, i migrati. Ecco, diciamo, superare quella, quella crisi della presenza ecco, che si può fare insieme, diciamo. Il mio nome è Vicente Sá, vivo in Évora desde 1987. Moro no bairro da Senhora da Saúde, sou ator e também faço outras coisas quando não posso trabalhar em teatro. Tenho 58 anos, quase 59, não sou natural de Évora. Eu uh, morei durante 10 anos, mais de 10 anos, na Malagueira. Uh, conheço, conheço esta zona há mais de 25 anos. O que eu sinto, uh, talvez que sou um pouco também daqui. Uh, vivi uma boa parte da minha vida e, à volta destes bairros também, sou um pouco daqui, sinto que não sou absolutamente de cá, que tenho outras raízes, mas o significado, o significado deste bairro é algo importante, por exemplo, quando, quando sinto que vi crescer as, as árvores da Malagueira. Uh, o meu, a minha vida sempre foi muito mais no centro da cidade e sempre foi no centro da cidade onde eu me encontrava com pessoas, onde eu convivia com pessoas, onde eu uh, tinha mais as minhas relações sociais. Eu penso que uh, é, era importante fazer uma grande integração dos, dos, dos habitantes do bairro, porque o bairro, estes dois bairros têm pessoas com características muito diferentes, uh, sociais, étnicas, uh, educacionais, uh, portanto, haver uma maior uh, socialização, uma maior integração de todos estes grupos, Uh, de forma a que os bairros, estes bairros, ganhassem mais vida própria, mais uma dinâmica própria, uh, independentemente de serem muito dormitórios ou uh, serem muito apropriados apenas por, por minorias, por auto-exclusão dos outros, dos outros grupos. I am Alina, I am 27 years old and I'm from Germany, Dortmund. Um, I kind of like the buildings and I like that um, there were children playing outside 
um, because I live uh, in Dortmund in a neighborhood where it's also the case that a group of children are playing outside without supervision. <laughs> Well, kind of um, uh, the a house where a good friend of mine from uh, childhood was brought up to and I went there to visit her and we were also playing outside, but uh, well, it's far yeah. away, so that would be the only thing. Já há 34 anos, gosto de morar aqui, uh, para ir ter com amigos meus, pois só a cidade, o Alcaraça de Geral, o um, um, um ponto mais fixo. Gostava aqui no bairro, no lugar, ter mais espaços verdes, pronto, que a gente tivesse um passear assim, mais, com mais espaços verdes. Sim. Gosto da associação, gosto aqui do convívio. Só para Temos aqui a associação. A associação? Sim. Aqui na associação a gente junta-se aqui, pronto, temos aqui, passamos aqui uma parte da tarde. Sim. Gosto. Mas porquê? Consegue explicar um pouco melhor? Pronto, foi para aqui que eu vim e gosto de, de, de aqui, do sítio. Eu não sou de cá, sou do norte. É de onde? Sou de Chaves. E então vim para aqui e <risos> pronto. Cá e gosto. <risos> e cá fiquei. Há 34 anos cá estou. My name is uh, Jacqueline and I'm 29 years old and I live in Germany and uh, I Yeah, I work uh, at the theatre in Dortmund. Mm -hmm. um, I like that um, the streets are very open and there are several possibilities to sit mm -hmm. and um, to, to have a chat together and to talk uh, to each other because there are several um, possibilities like benches or like um, some stones or mm -hmm. the playgrounds but um, For many people, there are different possibilities to come together outside. So I like that very much. Yeah, uh, when I was younger, I was uh, raised in a neighborhood which has some very high-rise buildings either, but they were um, they look very different. It was um, dark gray and um, not so bright as this uh, white white walls so um, it looks different but the atmosphere was very um, like this um, the, the children outside playing and um, so many um, languages uh, that you can hear and kids on the street who uh, try to um, get in contact without any shyness and in several languages uh, just to talk with you or, or trying to talk with you that was very similar to my um, experience in my childhood thought about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I studied German literature, so um, I know very much about um, classic German texts maybe, and um, I would like to share this, this um, experience with texts and literature, and so I could get more, um, more knowledge about um, maybe Spanish or Portuguese writers or something like that or something they read here and I could bring my experience with this German literature maybe. Yeah, I would like that. To share experience from reading. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is uh, Nuno Zunige Freire de Cruz. I'm uh, 43, yes, I'm going to do 44 next week. Um, I'm from Lisbon, but I'm living here in Evora for uh, four years. Four years. Uh, 
what I like in this neighborhood. I think I'm uh, 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 probably more than people because I, uh, I'm uh, even. I'm not talking just about the the the, the people that I'm working with, but also going to the coffee, going to the. I'm because I'm here for three months, four months, I think. Um, I'm getting, I'm starting to know the people from the coffee, from the, the, the store, from, and the, yeah, I, I, I think that it's a, a very fa familiar uh, level. It reminds me some, uh, some neighborhoods in Lisbon, in somehow uh, more the, the neighborhoods, uh, not in the center of Lisbon, but the, the, the periphery, I don't know. Suburb? 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 Peripheric? Because also that neighborhoods have uh, that uh, more familiar connection between them. It's more like a, a little village, not so like the, the big city of Lisbon. Um, and I, it reminds me a little bit that, uh, that place. Can offer... Uh, different experience that they, they are used to get. I think I'm doing this at the moment. Um, yeah, I think it's more.